All right, it's Friday, August uh, 14th today, and uh, I just landed, put it back on the ground. The weather's really just making me nervous. We have over Lake Apopka some pretty bad thunderstorms, and they are staying at bay, but the lightning uh, is getting a little too close for me. But uh, there's the painted um, air scoop. It's looking real good. Everything is running good. Uh, I do need to safety wire a few things um, to make things a little bit safer. But the uh, problem I'm having right now is my fuel line keeps cracking and breaking back here, so I'm going to have to put some new fuel line on there. I'm going to go buy some tomorrow and redo it all. I uh, lost a whole, I don't know, gallon of, gallon of mix there. And it didn't, uh, when I got here, it was uh, had all drained out, I guess, while I was going. And that's not good. Um, of course, as things run better, uh, I notice a few other things starting to happen. One is uh, I got a seal in here starting to leak, which means I have to take all this part and figure out how to change that seal. Uh, I've already been looking in the Lockwood manual, and it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, I think for now, though, I'll find out what kind of gear oil goes in there, and I'll just make sure it has plenty in it. And I'll monitor the leak, which it seems to be just getting a little bit on there right now. So a little bit, uh, a little bit stressful that as I get everything running real good, then new little things start to pop up. But I guess that's bound to happen. So. I'll get that figured out in the next couple weeks. Uh, I got my great my cushion from the back porch as my seat because it's just uh, I don't have the original seat for it. Uh, has been found and hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll uh, go pick it up and then I'll look into putting that back on. But so far so good. Oh yeah, also I redid the Velcro. For the top here um it i got it from the sewing machine place and they had industrial strength adhesive it seems to be holding up pretty good i need to get up there and pull it together a little bit closer but it uh it seems to be staying together real nice i did the underside also there were a few bits that i had no choice but to just cut them away there really wasn't a whole lot of fixing them i'd say in the next year or two i'll probably just need to put all new sails on it anyway so, but uh, there she is. I got a couple of couple of landings in today. Flew the pattern. Uh, I did one go around. I came in just a little too fast. The wind was uh, kicking me around, and I didn't feel comfortable. So I just went ahead and did a go around. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully tomorrow morning I'll get up early, get some fuel line on it, get a little more flying in it before I pull that front cover apart. Maybe that'll be a project for Sunday. There she is. Oh, I also forgot to mention that uh, flying it, it, it wasn't very, it wasn't trimmed out real well. Uh, for me anyway. And I kept working on bending the uh, trim tabs back here. It's got one on each side. And uh, I went ahead and took this one off. And uh, that seemed to cure it. It's flying real straight now. Uh, the controls have loosened up a lot and it just flies so much better with me in it. Um, I'm curious to see how it'll fly once I filled up, you know, get the tank full of gas once for a, uh, a longer flight and see how it does. It should be okay. Because um, I was getting a lot of, I was getting a lot of up. So I was constantly pushing down on the stick to, uh, to keep it level in flight. And the way I have it set up today and flew it, it's, it really wanted to just fly straight and level at about 5,100 RPM, which is cruise uh, for this little motor. And it, uh, it felt real good doing that. So um, when the weather clears up, hopefully by tomorrow, if I get up early, fly it again and I'll, put, I'll fill the tank up all the way up with gas and uh, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's it. All right. And hopefully I'll be put some more videos together of flying. I'm going to try and put a video together 
of um, uh, doing some maneuvers maybe some stalls and some turns around the point right now that seems to be some very uh, uh, easy stuff I can do in this plane that um, that I can practice that uh, matches up real well with what I'm doing in school so but that's the update Friday Friday the 14th